it's me. Um, so I thought I'd do something a bit different today because I need to fix this puncture that I got on my bike ride yesterday. And um, I want to give you a little update as to sort of what I'm doing for training, um, racing, all of that good stuff. Um, so basically, obviously, like everyone else, all of my races have been cancelled this year. Um, I was meant to be in Mallorca at the moment. And then obviously next month was Ironman 70.3 Barcelona. So that was actually cancelled like quite a long time ago now. So that's that's kind of probably less of a shock for me. However, obviously I was meant to be doing Austria in June for Team GB. So it's going to be my first real opportunity to wear a GB tri suit. Um, luckily or unluckily, I didn't actually order the tri suit, and I'm quite relieved at the moment because they're really expensive. And by the looks of it, there's going to be no races for GB for the rest of the year, and there's no guarantee you'll get selected next year. So I was also going to do Almere later in the year, but I didn't actually register my intent to qualify and I'm quite glad I didn't now. So that's both of my races there gone. And then my final one that I had actually booked was um, Ironman Tallinn in August. Now it hasn't actually been cancelled yet, however I'm pretty much sure it's not going to go ahead. I think all these mass events, there's just no way that having thousands and thousands of international people coming together is just going to be on the cards this year and I kind of think obviously they've postponed the London Marathon until later this year I just don't think it's going to happen and but we'll see um positive positive thoughts right so either way obviously the whole year of racing is pretty much pretty much gone now so I have been thinking and from my perspective I think it's a great time just to have a little bit of not downtime as such, but a bit of sort of time to myself and doing a bit of what I enjoyed when I first started the sport because last year was a big year for me. I had an amazing time at Lanzarote and going to the Ironman World Championships, but I kind of feel by the end of the year I kind of burnt out a bit and I've signed up to all these races this year and I was really excited, but I'm also quite glad to have the break. So what I'm doing training wise at the moment is kind of just a bit of what I'd like to do whenever I like to do it. So if I want to go out for a bike ride, I will go out for a bike ride. If I want to do a turbo and go out for a run later, I'll do that. So I've been doing quite a bit of cycling at the moment, which I've been really enjoying because cycling is one of the challenging things I've sort of found that all those long sessions, it kind of became a bit samey. And obviously we've had such a long winter, I'm really struggling here. I can fix a puncture, I promise. Um, it was such a long winter this year, what with you know it was so dark and it felt like just everything was getting on top of me so i'm kind of looking at this whole experience as a positive and i think this is kind of where i've been trying to go in my instagram so i've got to come back and spend so much time with my family and i haven't actually seen them properly in absolutely years so it's actually really lovely so that's kind of where i am with it and i know there are a lot of disappointed people out there with regards to racing and there's lots and lots of virtual races out there at the moment so while it's not quite the same there's a lot of opportunity to sort of give something different a go to get your bike get out your bike indoors i personally haven't tried swift but i know a lot, i'm on it i know a lot of people out there have um got on swift and signed up for swift racing so i think that's potentially something i might look at eventually but at the moment my turbo trainer is not smart enough and I certainly cannot afford a new one right now. So I think that's a bit where I am. I'm kind of having a bit of downtime. I'm currently not being coached. Um, I do plan to go back to my coach but at the moment I'm, I'm kind of, I'm just having a little break. So I'm still doing a decent amount of training and I think this is the furthest I've cycled in probably about six months over the month. I think I hit 200, over, cycled over 200 miles last week and 200 miles the week before. And it's just been lovely getting the summer bike back out, the weather's nice. The local tri club to me um, are doing a, are taking part in the virtual Corona to Kona challenge. So I think, I can't remember how far it is, but between us, I think I'm in a group of 17 people. We're cycling from Manchester to Kona virtually, and I can't remember how far the run is. So obviously I'm contributing towards that. So that's quite exciting. Um, and I think the main part of this time for me is just thinking about where I want my life to go. I've got so much sort of free time at the moment and I'm absolutely loving it, I'm not gonna lie. So 
I'm kind of just thinking about what I want out of life, where it's going, doing some planning and sort of just a bit of extra learning really. So I'm managing to fill my days. Um, I know a lot of people out there are furloughed and kind of like, oh, I'm a bit bored, I need the structure, but I'm really enjoying not having any structure to my training, I have to say. So yeah, that's a bit about obviously my training at the moment. Um, obviously, I've not finished fixing, fixing this puncture. However, I'm going to sign off now. And um, yeah, I'll catch you in a new video. Um, and that is one thing, I will start getting some frequent videos up now. I've got the time, I've kind of settled into the not working life. Um, and hopefully I'll get a few more videos out. Vid videos up. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, and please, please like and subscribe. Uh, I'm still having so many subscribers, so everyone is just great. Catch you later. Bye.